the only business woman from Bengal to win the Shark Tank. Big fan of your makeup. We have come a long way. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Though I share a lot of lifestyle, makeup is the main thing I share and mainly the daily makeup that I do. And that is something I've actually learned. But when you ask me questions about skincare, if I answer that, that would not be right because I am not a specialist. Today I have Aishwarya Biswas, who's a skincare specialist trained in Ayurveda and cosmetic skincare from New York. And she's kept her skin so beautiful uh, because now she also has her own skincare line which is doing really really well and guess what she's the only businesswoman from Bengal to win the shark tank so I'm going to ask her the questions that you all ask me often and she'll explain everything to you all I hope this video can be a go-to video for you guys to get your basic skin tips thank you for coming to my channel Ash I am so happy uh, I couldn't have thought of anybody better to talk about skincare also because not only because I know you, I've seen you grow your brand in front of my eyes and I can see your skin get better. <laughs> like I have seen you in all ages. I've yes. seen you in school. Yes. Then I've seen you in our, those 20s, 30s. Yes. Yes. And then I'm seeing you now. Yes. And I think now your skin is better than ever. Yes. Sir. And you do not layer it. I think you guys should also follow her skincare reels, which is on Instagram. No matter how much makeup we do, uh, the canvas is yes. something that really matters absolutely and i promote less makeup i promote uh, you see i don't use liquid foundation most not of the dog, time not really, yeah. uh, i keep uh, in mind that uh, that we are from a country which is usually hot yes at the same time i'm someone who's got dry skin so i have to find that balance absolutely. you can't be in the ac all the time because when i'm shooting content i don't want to touch up i don't want to get cakey absolutely. so i do the powder foundation with the skin prep which is for Dry skin. dry skin, yes. But there are a lot of questions I get asked, which if I uh, answer, it would be wrong. Right. If they ask me something about makeup, I can talk about right. it. Before we start, uh, is there something that you would like to say in general about skin? And then I'll go into the questions. First of all, thank you for having me here. It's been my absolute pleasure to do this with you. Um, I'm a big fan of your makeup uh, tutorials, your food uh, <laughs> blogging and all of that. And I always always watch it as soon as it comes live and i, I enjoy it thoroughly thank so you so i'm so happy to be here and i think you know we have come a long way <laughs> tell me about together it together <laughs> uh, yeah over a long period of time and we've truly found our calling and i think you know i never thought in my life that this is something that i'm going to do yeah. as a business because I never thought I'll do a business in the first place. And I think, you know, I was never trained to be in business because I'm the first gen business person. But I built it from scratch. Like, you know, logo was designed by of me. Course. Product was handpicked by me. Formulations were done by me. Jar was selected and bought by me. To delivering to each you know, order in their own hands was done by me. Today's day and age, we don't have a favorite skincare product. Why? Yeah. And there are so many Too much in the choice. market. Yeah. And we are greedy, I understand. But you can be greedy about makeup. You cannot be greedy about skincare because yeah. that is like a medicine, right? It has to suit so, you. Yes. So why aren't people finding that suitable product? Is because people are not being aware. They are, nobody is spending time to teach them right from wrong. Nobody is finding time to tell them that you need self-discipline also. Just losing weight, let's say, or staying fit, it comes with multiple checks. Right. Similarly, skincare also comes with multiple checks. You need to know what your skin type is. Yes. You need to know what your problem is. Yes. Whether your skin is actually having that problem or is it very complicated or is it a very small problem that can be solved. We wait to go to the dermatologist. Right. When we have completely messed it up. Right. And there is somebody sitting there who will fix it for you to whatever best they can do. And there is a huge cost involved in it. Of course. And if you spend a little bit of time in your growing up years or even, you know, picking the right content to kind of listen to and adapting. Right. It's easier to, you know, kind of get into the groove from an early age. Yeah. So anyway, let's start. Yes. So one of the most uh, important questions, how often, from which age and how much sunscreen should a person use? I would say treat it like brushing your teeth. Okay, if one generation brushes their teeth and starts using sunscreen after that, we are home. It's that important. 
you know so teach so, your child from yes teach them to brush and use sunscreen oh. right so that important because uv rays are everywhere we don't see it uv a rays a is for aging uv b ray is for burning so either you age or you burn or you both okay. right so you have to use a sunscreen of 30 spf plus plus broad spectrum so that it covers uv a and uv b that's the way we should check our yes, labels when you see the labels it has to say 30 spf or more pa plus plus and um, uh, broad spectrum water resistant if possible then it just stays on longer but okay. more than that most sunscreens are not that water resistant anyway because the temperature here and the weather conditions here is such that you know we sweat a lot and even if we don't sweat we are if we are out more often it is imperative that you reapply sunscreen every 2 hours what if you have makeup on yourself if you have makeup there are spray sunscreens powder sunscreens any version but it must go on it must go on sunscreen is a must uh, my second question ash is about skin care now a lot of people don't have the time or the patience to put say five products yeah. or six products yeah. which i've started doing now for yeah. me that's my me time i use everything but um, so if you tell me someone who wants to do skin care like me for say five or six products twice a day what should they have in their kit and someone who wants to do just something basic jaldi mein kuch karke nikalna hai Done. they don't have the patience but still it will make their skin get some care So we have a patented stick six step routine, which Oli basically I have gone through multiple researches and read multiple books and tried to break down this problem. The biggest question that we get is, "Yar, itna nahi ho payega," or "Itna I will not do this much." Now, if I'm not doing this much, what is enough? I'll come to that later. But my request is that when I say the six steps, then and I'll I'll substantiate each step. with the reasoning so that we know why the six step is important first step is cleansing we know we have to clean our face theek hai morning we clean it one time in evening we double clean you are saying some kind of a face wash face wash you use a face wash during the day in the evening you use the same face wash but before the face wash a cleansing milk or a cleansing oil to clean out the makeup to and clean all. out or to soften the makeup or the you know any dirt grime there's so much we of don't course, get to course. see it but it's there you know and that is you know the main cause of blackheads whiteheads uh, clogging of pores dry skin right, all of this right. right so first step is washing through a cleanser second step is a toner now we think the toner is redundant not needed what does a toner do i'll tell you what happens is when you wash your face now you just washed your face mm. now your face your skin is supposed to be acidic in general we are okay. born with acidic skin. okay when we wash anything with a face wash or anything which has mild soap in it or detergent in it or any kind of clean, cleansing compound mm-hmm. what it does it it makes your skin alkaline Okay. The minute you wash it with the face wash, it makes your skin alkaline. So now you have acidic skin, which is in the normal pH, but you have washed it and made it alkaline. But people like you and me, when we are making products, people like me, when we are making products, we make it for acidic skin because that's what your skin, skin is, is supposed is, to right? be like. Yeah. Now when you put that product on an alkaline skin because you washed it and now your pH is all over the place. that product will not work as much as it's supposed to work okay. so before you move to any moisturizer hydrator serum so toner very simple either a aha toner to clean out dry skin or exfoliate dry skin or just a spray like a water spray okay right to uh, just minimize so this your, is the step that is after the uh, the right after the washing cleanser. washing yes, of the face yes. this brings the acid back acid back it yeah. brings back your skin to the normal ph third step is a serum serum's job is to it's got micro nano particles micro particles nano particles so now serum comes in a step called repair okay repair from what all the atmospheric i seen that it in a bottle yes. but i don't know what it means so when you have you know this is where you repair the damage that you've done okay. by using a ingredient which is a problem solver for your problem always problem will be solved or problem will be repaired by a serum fourth step is your skin needs fourth and fifth i'll say quickly hmm. fourth and fifth is hydrating and moisturizing how you need water for your body yeah. how you need food for your body say my body is thirsty hmm. and you give me a plate full of food hmm. it won't do anything to me right right, right. similarly when i when i'm very hungry and dying you give me a glass of water it's a temporary solution it's not no. giving me any nutrition no, no. hence 
a hydrator and a moisturizer is absolutely important in any skincare routine. So let's recap, wash, cleanse, tone, repair, hydrate, moisturize, protect. Six, six. <laughs> now sixth step is protection. Daytime you protect with a sunscreen, nighttime you protect with a facial oil. The oil, Achha, oil is something which will overnight kind of seal your skin. There are lots of non-comedogenic oils. But like this is also for, this is just for dry skin? Or everybody. Oily, oily, Every, oily skin, skin person can, can use oil. Ah, I didn't know that. Oily skin person can use oil because their skin cells, so brain works very differently, okay. right? So your brain we think oily skin to tell you Oily skin is to zada mood hona hai. Aisa nahi hai. Achha. If you have oily skin and you keep washing your face, na, your brain will tell your sebaceous glands ki or oil madam. Oh, so it will increase. Yes. Okay. Same with oily skin. This At I night, know. You take one drop of oil and just dab it. Use an oil which is non-comedogenic. Like a now, baby oil. Baby oil. Coconut oil. Coconut oil, no. Coconut no. oil is... You have to take it off. Coconut oil only Both for dry skin. Yes, and oil. Yes. Okay. Dry skin ke liye coconut oil is fine. Any which is not comedogenic is a word which you use for anything which is clogging your pores. Right. So there are many oils like a rosehip oil. Okay. It's very good for your skin. It's very mild and thin. Will go like a moisturizer. Okay. You'll not even understand. Sometimes a moisturizer is thicker than a rosehip oil. Really? Right. So, so these are non-comedogenic oils. You can just look it up and use a night oil. If anyone has got cystic acne and non, or a lot of painful acne, can be skipped. But this is something new guys, that if you have oily skin, don't keep washing it. Yes. Use the right kind of oil on it and that will actually control yes. it. This is something even I just It will learned. control. So when someone wants to go and buy products, a lot of us don't know what our skin type is. So if I want to go to a store and uh, buy products from my skin, how do I know whether I have normal skin, whether I have dry skin, whether I have oily skin? It's so easy. Look, first of all, 98% of India, more than that maybe, don't know what their skin type is. So that's an aberration in itself. But it's the way to know it, very easy. You take a tissue paper, you wash your face quickly, let it air dry so that the normal pH is Oh, there. so no, no, no dabbing, dabbing the water. Ah. Of course, you can, the excess water, yes, but after that, the normal pH of your skin in, without any uh, serum or moisturizer. Before the toner, water. you mean? Before anything, just wash your face, pat it dry, let it air dry. And then 30 minutes later, just take a tissue paper, any tissue paper from your kitchen, just cut it into four or five small pieces and then start sticking it on your face. You have to take five parts, one, two, three, four and five. Hmm. Five, so basically your T-zone is covered and your, like you know, your entire face is covered. Now you'd be surprised to know that on your face, you could have two or more skin types. You would also be surprised to know that every season you would have a different skin type. Oh, that happens. It happens every three months for at least two to three years. You have to do this every quarter. Okay. So that you know, you, you, you'll get to know your pattern that you know winter may dry, hota hai, summer may oily and then you know my T-zone is oily in spring or you know it's T-zone is dry during autumn, you will figure it out. But right. first year or first couple of years you have to do this at a you know every third or fourth month interval when you feel, see most of, most often you can judge your own skin yeah. but we don't pay that attention na, because we are only wanting product to work. We are not like some people have combination skin. Like so I have unapologetic that, dry skin. You same, know, I know that. Same. Yeah. So when you put that dry and dehydrated, although I very, drink enough water, very. everything. So what when you put that tissue paper, if it sticks, sticks and stays on for more than three to five seconds, oily. Ah. If you put it one or two seconds, maybe three seconds and falls, dry. Normal. Oh, put and falls immediately, dry. then dry. This is a fabulous tip, guys. Yeah. Know your skin type, That's a try the tissue paper, yeah. a basic tissue paper uh, patch thing which she said, put it on your uh, what five or six parts, parts of, of your face, yes. if the tissue paper sticks for very long then you have oily skin, if it sticks for a little while then you have normal, normal skin and if it falls off immediately you have dry skin and do this after washing your face without totally drying it with giving it a gap of say minutes. 20 to 30 minutes for your normal skin pH got it excellent I love that tip it's right? like you know you are buying heart medicine without knowing what your heart ailment is makes complete Correct. sense and here you know your skin type you figure it out you go to the store and say I have dry skin give me this or I have oily skin right. you can actually say that so you tip. know when you buy a product I think another big thing that we should do is use the product fully 
we don't go through a full product or we don't go so skin cell turnover is 27 days if you go through a product halfway see we make products with a lot of the love. discipline of and doing I'm, it regularly haan. the word if you don't do it and then you diss a product because you just you know saw my friend using Are, yaar, ye now I'm not going to use that I have thousand bucks to spend I'll spend it and get a new one so we're greedy also like no that. but how much but time should we give a at product at least 30 to 45 days so around two sincere. months. Sincere. Around yes. two months. And sincere. And you will see the change. Who will you? 100%. Patience. Something that I have to learn. So my next question is, what is the right age for someone to use uh, anti-aging product? Anything over 30 is, you start seeing lines or signs of aging. Um, typically, like at least 99% people see it after 30. Right. Some blessed people see it a little later. When, but mostly around that time, if you, if you don't see, 30 onwards, you should start including uh, anti-aging products in your So you would say 30. 30? 30. 30 is a good number for people Everyone to remember? Everyone should remember, bus. What is happening is that, you know, when you don't need something, then it's very important to not use it. Okay. That also I would like to but say. No, no overdoing it. Huh. And because overdoing really, you know, you don't need it only. It's like... It's, it's, it's like it will not do anything. You already have your natural hormones pumping. You have your natural hyaluronic acid. You have your natural ceramides in your skin. You don't need to top that right. up. Great. Now, one very important question. Yeah. I always show uh, my subscribers and followers how to prep my skin for dry skin because right. that's what I have. Right. So, because I do my, you know, what I do is I just put the camera on when I do the makeup and I just share that. So, but they right. keep seeing skin prepping for dry skin, which they've seen. Yes. Someone with, say, very oily skin. You know, mm. I used to have skin as a kid where I would do this and there would be oil coming oh, yeah. out and stuff. How should one prep oily skin before makeup? I think the only, um, you know, the only change would be to replace a heavy moisturizer which dry skin people use with a mattifying, pore minimizing primer or a gel. So these are available easily. These, these are hydrating gels. These words that she's saying just Google, Google them. This is a lovely habit to get into, guys. Google what you don't yes. get because the information she's giving you here is like gold. It's it's priceless. It will help you throughout your life. It will help you. You can start them with your daughters. You can do all of that. So this 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 knowledge we're sharing today is amazing. This little <laughs> much is you know if no, I got to learn so much myself. Just you know? this much is important. You know, this is enough. What I've told today, this is enough. To have you now take care of your skincare journey. I am not needed any. Anyway, Ash, thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to make a short video, but I don't think it's going to be too short because it was so no. But there's a lot of stuff that you have shared, yes. which I am excited to even know myself. Yeah. Please follow her. I will link everything under the video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Facebook page. And thank you, Ash. Thank you so coming. much for it having me. It was amazing. Me. It was fantastic. Thank you so much.